Hello and welcome back to Kevin Can't Play Today, the game show where everybody always loses, especially us. It's uh, Bomber Crew. Uh, welcome back, guys. I'm sorry these are coming out a little late. Uh, I slept in. <laughs> uh, it's been a long week with not much sleep, so I kind of needed it. Um, but yeah, we're back with some Bomber Crew. Um, and yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this and get on with it. So, here we go, and, uh, yeah, so everything's going okay, we, last week was pretty good for, uh, both our crews, so hopefully, uh, our luck, uh, holds out, let's see what we have here, um, alright, search and rescue, um, looks like our best one. Uh, yep. So, there, there's an enemy ace, so it's going to be a little more difficult. But, yeah, we got to drop a raft to this guy. And, uh, yeah. So, and let's see what we got for, um, where aces are. It's probably this Gunner Gunter. Probably the guy we're going to be seeing. So hopefully we don't die. Yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Not dying. I yeah you know, hope we don't. So let's go ahead and start this. <laughs> All right. Our lovely flak magnet too. Too far zoomed in. Gonna go ahead and get that uh, get those supplies selected and ready. So all we gotta do is open up the bay doors and drop them. Alright. McIntyre. That and we'll get into started. And to start, good to go. I remember we've gotten a little bit more armor put on, so hopefully that'll help us. I think we already did focus on that now, market. And we're up. Get that gear up. This is up. We'll go lean. There we go. Just a bit more flight time. Take a look at our map. Okay, so we're going, it's the south channel, over there by Clay. Or no, that's Clay. Yeah. That would be Clay, that's Cherbourg? Yeah, I think that's Cherbourg. So, this is actually, uh, Normandy, that's where we made the landings. We make it, make it a nice flight over south one, or south England. That's London right there. I should be overflying it now. All right. There's the River Thames. Some lovely little forests. And some happy little trees. Ancient city of Londinium. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, so far, so not nerve wracking. 
Did we were we able to upgrade any of the guns? Yeah, we were able to give it some feed. Give him some. Give some uh, ammo feeds to him, I believe. I'm gonna upgrade a bit of armor. It means he won't have to uh, go walk up <laughs> the middle of the plane to go get ammo if he runs out. He'll just switch him out right there. Would be nice to get some uh, better guns, but damn, their guns are expensive. Seems like a, for the uh, B-17, they're even more expensive. Which would yeah, you'd think they'd be cheaper, seeing as the U.S. Uh, supplied pretty much all of these guns, uh, between the Browning 303s and the. Uh, Browning 50 calibers, all American guns. <laughs> we still got 303s on this one. And I think on the B-17. Alright, now here's where we gotta kinda keep our eyes peeled. Oh, of course, some breaks. Alright, Stevenson, go fix that. Now it's just the O2, that's not anything too terrible important. Since we're flying at low altitude, we don't really need the O2. Yeah, hopefully you fix it quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Woke up starving, so I had to eat something before <laughs> before getting on here. So that delayed it a little extra longer. But I was starving, so. Okay. We are officially in the zone. Alright, get that fixed. <clears throat> Oh shit. Get on the focus. Put you in the Okay, he's taking heavy. He's taking some heavy fire. It's good news, good news. Okay, and here comes the incoming. We got him, we got him. All right. That wasn't terrible. Our bombardier uh, didn't take too much damage either. So that's good. All right, nearing point to Hawk. With the uh, famous commando raid. Yeah, you got it. Can we auto tag yet? No. Somewhere off is this way. Yep, there. Mm. So 
close our bay doors. Get these uh, vultures off the guy's back. Go ahead and get up in the gun there. Alright, one down. Like, yep, some 109s. Man, Stewart's getting all the head state. Nope, that's a, uh, that's a, um, uh, 190. <coughs> Excuse me again. There's a optional camera shot. So there's currently only one enemy out there. I think we'll go get it. I mean, we'd go get it anyway. What am I talking about? You know me. <laughs> like take them risks. Alright, we got him. One ninety's down. Yeah, I already saw it. Thanks, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, here it goes to Sherberg. Haha, <laughs> I was right. I do remember my geography. <laughs> Thank you, World War II, and wanting to know its history for <laughs> remembering European geography. Actually, gaming in general can be very helpful for learning a lot of that stuff. Uh, I've got this other game that's uh, all about shipping. So you get to know where stuff is. Got it. Alright, now we'll go back to the AO. By AO, I mean area of operation. There they are. There they are. Alright. Two planes, which means one of them's probably a 109s. Alright. A few rounds did hit us after he died. Some good shooting though. This is where our crew skills are really coming in handy, uh, having those leveled up. Um, makes them better gunners, more accurate just in general. having to look out for some more bad guys because the area is not clear yet we did get that additional photo op which is good Wait, why does it say we didn't drop supplies? Oh no! Did we miss him? No. 
crap. Because where we dropped it right on top of them. Okay, let's well, let's do this again. Thankfully, we have more supplies. I swear we got him. Thanks me to drop more supplies. Alright, now we finally have that register is done. Weird. Unless I didn't I accidentally didn't actually click the drop button last time. Alright, I guess all we need to do is come back and drop off the actually drop off the supplies. For you get for go going ahead and assuming you did the right thing. Come on, where's our navigation? Eh, almost there. Anyways. That must be where the picture opportunity was. I don't know what's marked with a target. Whatever. Right. Stevenson, you could probably go back to jump. Oh, or you have to fix the fix the electronics. <sighs> Of course, those can't be working. Always something. I really need to upgrade, get those upgraded so they don't uh, get damaged as much. It does get kind of annoying. Alright, looks goes back on. Oops. Now he can go back to his seat. Now, yeah, so you can actually see the uh, ammo runners going back to the tail gun. And up to the uh, top gun there. Next, we gotta get the bombardier's gun. Uh, get that one, the ammo feeds. There's London again. The one thing I wish they had put in this game, and I don't know why they didn't, 
You should be seeing St. Paul's Cathedral. That's a major landmark, especially for pilots. Yeah, it'd be nice to see Big Ben down there, too. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. That would have taken a lot of extra time and probably some extra money to get get done. But especially St. Paul's. It's kind of a special landmark for uh, RAF crews. And also didn't it, was, it came through the uh, Blitz miraculously unscathed, even though it was right in the center of the German target. But yeah, I can't really complain. They did a good job with this game. As much as I hate it sometimes. <laughs> Not really the game's fault, just my uh, inability to play it. Yeah, I'm sure there's definitely people out there that don't have nearly as many difficulties <laughs> with this game than I, than I do. But that's why you guys watch, you know, see me uh, screw up and, and uh, have a hard time. <laughs> it provides you all entertainment, and I'm happy to do so. Might as well somebody get entertainment out of it instead of me wanting to punch my uh, computer screen. <laughs> Helps keep me calm when you guys are watching. <laughs> I, don't, I don't rage quite so much. Because I have to try and keep, you know, this channel PG-13. <laughs> As we come in for another landing, we didn't really take a whole lot of damage. You know, a couple of hits in the forward fuselage and the wing, and then we got a couple in the tail there. Otherwise, we came out of that pretty. Uh, yeah, one more there. On that, we came out of that pretty nicely. Yeah, it looks like there's a little one there too. Where we really took any on the right wing at all. Well, on the left wing. As we come in for another glorious landing. RAF Woodbridge. Possibly named after uh, a relative of our radio operator. And butter. Butter on the landing. And a mostly intact plane. Heck, the ground crew will probably be happy because uh, they won't have to deal with repairing the plane. <laughs> it too much to, we didn't give them too much work to, to do. Yeah, we needed that. We needed a, we needed a good one like that. Especially taking out that, uh, that ace so nicely. That'll give us some good money to get some good upgrades. 4,000 pounds, that's going to help us nicely. And we got that optional photo, so... Yeah. See, this slow time bonus, I always forget we have it. <laughs> so we always get the bonus, because I forget we even have it. And yeah, it does slow down time, and... You know, make it easier to focus on stuff and get people to where, focus on where to put people, but I just forget we have it. Kind of like in a lot of games, I forget we have grenades, so. <laughs> I never use them. But you get a bonus for not using it, so. At least there's an advantage to forgetting that you have uh, something useful for once. Alright, I think Martin gets a new skill now. Ooh, Mark III engines. Nice. Yep, looks like we unlocked a skill. So we'll go do that real quick. 
and then we'll go uh, upgrade some crap. All right, what should we do? What should we do with her? Uh, I think probably first aid. Let's see what we got, everybody else. Gunner. Oh, gunner and a uh, bombardering gunner. Yeah. Gunner and mechanic. Okay. And then the radio operator and nav. Uh, well, no, he's a, also a mechanic or medic. Stevenson is also a gunner. Makes sense. You don't have a secondary skill. You don't get it till seven. Probably make you the other radio op. Yeah. So having another medic is probably a good bet there. Hey, right, and now we'll go over the aircraft since we got we got a few more meds. See what kind of upgrades we can do first of all before we forget, because I have been known to do so. Get some pretty new bomb marker. Indicating another successful mission. And we'll put on a another Red Cross symbol here for a successful search and rescue. Uh, and these markers were actually used for the same thing. <coughs> so, especially a lot of transports got these. So, uh, the C 47 Dakotas uh, usually have a you know, the ones that were used a lot tend to have a good collection of these little uh, red crosses as they dropped a lot of supplies to downed crews of aircraft and uh, uh, guys from sunk ships. Because oftentimes they send a transport out there to drop supplies while they were waiting for uh, big float planes or um, destroyers to get out there. All right, guns. So I think we want to get the nose turrets one. Yeah. Oh, I need to upgrade my engines. We're over our weight limit. So we got we got start we got twos. So but we need. It's a good thing we just unlocked threes. <laughs> So we'll install one of those, and we'll match it over here. And it's nice because it gives the uh, our inner engines another 100 points of armor, and another 250 points of weight allowance. We'll put another one in there, uh, which should give us plenty. I think that still gives us just enough to afford to upgrade this one. Yeah, not much more. But that's fine. So we got two new engines and we've got ammo feeds to the uh, guns. The next thing we need is this here. Get a uh, get the Mark IIs with ammo feeds. So this is kind of tempting putting a 20 millimeter in. No, not here, but in one of the other tur in one of the mid turrets. Um, because those don't have ammo feeds, so having one of those put in here, they don't have to go very far for ammo, or put it down here, give them a little extra surprise if they're trying to get us from below. Alright, 
But I think that's good for now. That's that's some good increases. Yeah, getting those ammo feeds on the furthest out and most used turrets is very good. Let's see if we can grab some gear real quick. Um, don't need a lot. I'm sure everybody's got their gloves that I want them to have. Yeah. Um, oops, let's go for take a look at boots. We do have the tough and leather ones now. So, take a look at our pilot. So we can afford one pair. <laughs> so we'll give them to the pilot. And... Everybody's got those. Got any better vests? No. We do have better helmets, but they are expensive. Yeah, we got the Mark II, which are 200 bucks. So we couldn't have afford those if we wanted them. All right, I think that's. Oh, wrong button. Um, I think that's pretty good. So, and everything's overloading. See if that'll pass. Yep, there it goes. Alright, well, that'll be it for today for the RAF side of things. And I will be making a uh, one with our U.S. forces with the B-17 here in a little bit. So stay tuned for that one. And thank you for watching this so late. If not, uh, thank you for watching it in the morning when you got up. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys uh, next time.